Lightning strikes deliver up to 1 billion joules of energy in microseconds and with government backing and mass production, we can finally turn this free natural resource into a viable power source for residential buildings. The concept is straightforward. Install special lightning capture kits on tall buildings using very long metal rods that attract lightning strikes and then change that burst of lightning energy into electricity that can be used in homes and sent to the power grid. The beauty of this system lies in its simplicity and scalability. Each kit contains a specially manufactured ultra-high voltage transformer designed by government-sponsored companies specifically for lightning energy conversion. One wire from the transformer's primary connects directly to a 200 meter lightning rod extending high above the building while the other primary wire grounds solidly to the earth. When lightning chooses the shortest path to ground, which will always be through your towering rod, the transformer instantly steps down the millions of volts to a manageable thousand volts or less. Lightning energy harvesting is especially good because it works really well together with solar power systems. While solar panels struggle during cloudy weather and produce zero energy during rainstorms, lightning harvesting systems thrive in exactly these conditions. Heavy cloud cover and thunderstorms create the ideal environment for lightning generation, turning the weather patterns that hurt solar production into peak energy harvesting opportunities. This means buildings can generate substantial electricity precisely when solar panels are least effective, creating a balanced, renewable energy portfolio that works works in all weather conditions. Monsoon seasons become incredibly productive for lightning equipped buildings. During India's monsoon months, when solar panel efficiency drops by 60 to 70 percent due to persistent cloud cover and frequent rainfall, lightning activity reaches its annual peak. Buildings with lightning harvesting systems actually generate more electricity during monsoon season than during clear weather periods. Also, government subsidies make it completely affordable. The rectifier units, built with silicon carbide diodes capable of switching in nanoseconds, converts the lightning's chaotic pulse into clean direct current. They can be mass produced in government backed factories. The rectified power flows directly into bands of advanced supercapacitors, also government subsidized, that can absorb the entire lightning pulse without overheating or damage. Smart voltage regulation comes through parallel arrays of high power Zener diodes that automatically limit voltage to safe levels, thus protecting the supercapacitors. Once the supercapacitors reach full charge, a standard grid tie inverter kicks in automatically, thus providing electricity to the building and then to the grid, just like solar panels do today. Government certified technicians install the lightning rod system on building rooftops, run heavy duty cables down to basement mounted transformer and storage equipment and connect everything to the building's main electrical panel through a standard grid tie setup. The entire system operates automatically, no user intervention required. Regional advantages become obvious when comparing lightning rich areas with solar optimal locations. Coastal regions, mountainous areas and tropical zones that experience frequent thunderstorms but limited sunshine hours benefit enormously from lightning harvesting systems. Each lightning strike capture delivers roughly 280 kilowatt hours of electricity, enough to power an average home for nine days. In lightning active regions, buildings with tall lightning rods experience multiple strikes monthly. Government feed-in tariffs for lightning generated electricity provide building owners with significant income, making the investment pay back within five years, something similar to solar panels. During summer months when solar panels perform optimally, lightning activity tends to be moderate, allowing solar systems to carry the primary generation load. This natural balance eliminates the need for expensive battery storage to handle seasonal variations in renewable energy production. When the government sponsors factory production of millions of lightning harvesting transformers, rectifiers and storage systems annually, component costs drop to levels comparable with solar panel installations. Bulk purchasing power means residential lightning systems cost no more than premium rooftop solar installations. Multiple buildings sharing lightning activity through interconnected grid tie systems ensure consistent power generation even when individual buildings don't receive strikes. Also, today's solar on-grid setup already comes with this lightning arrestor installation, which 
means that we can easily make a hybrid system from it. Buildings equipped with both technologies achieve remarkable energy independence, generating power during sunny periods through solar panels and during stormy weather through lightning capture, ensuring consistent electricity production regardless of weather conditions. Government mandated safety protocols include automatic disconnection during maintenance, surge protection, and emergency shutdown capabilities. Lightning energy harvesting produces zero emissions, requires no fuel, and uses completely renewable natural phenomena. Unlike solar panels that need rare earth materials or wind turbines requiring massive concrete foundations, lightning systems use standard electrical components and simple metal rods. Maintenance is made simple and routine through dedicated government service networks. For off-grid systems, lightning-charged supercapacitors feed this captured energy directly into the building's battery banks. This provides critical backup power during outages and offers intelligent load shifting capabilities during peak demand periods. Smart grid integration allows this lightning harvested energy to support entire neighborhood microgrids. Looking ahead, the future of residential lightning harvesting looks incredibly promising. Government investment in specialized manufacturing combined with streamlined installation procedures and proven safety protocols is what transforms lightning from a volatile weather phenomenon into a practical and accessible renewable energy source. In this future, every tall building becomes a potential power plant. Every storm becomes an opportunity for clean energy generation. And every single lightning rod becomes part of a vast distributed energy network that strengthens grid resilience while reducing electricity costs for everyone. This isn't just about capturing energy from the sky. It's about fundamentally revolutionizing how we think about and utilize our planet's renewable energy resources. With proper government support and scaled mass production, lightning energy harvesting systems can perfectly complement existing solar and wind installations providing reliable clean energy precisely when those traditional renewables struggle with adverse weather conditions. The technology can easily be produced, the public demand is there, and with coordinated government action, lightning-powered buildings could become as common as solar-roofed homes. This will ensure lasting energy security for all, regardless of unpredictable weather patterns. Quiz time! Which of the following is a key advantage? of lightning energy harvesting in residential buildings. A. It only works during sunny weather. B. It complements solar power during storms. C. It requires rare earth materials. D. It cannot be connected to the grid. Share your answer in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more revolutionary renewable energy content.